Hello folks, this is Obama, the Jewish Redneck Prepper with you today. We're back here today on this video, and I would like to do a little video on the ghost town of Petersburg, Georgia. That's right folks, uh, it's Petersburg, Georgia. At the founding of this little town, um, Petersburg was at the uh, branches of where two rivers joined here in the state of Georgia on the border of South Carolina. Petersburg was a very rich town. And it was third largest in the state of Georgia um, amongst the three Georgia's largest towns, being Augusta and uh, Savannah. And it was set right on uh, Broad River and Savannah River, so it was also kind of like a river port city where uh, tobacco and many other farm goods were floated down from Petersburg to Augusta on down to Savannah to be uh, shipped on out. Well, see, what's so good about Pet Petersburg today is... When it was uh, a live and thriving community, Petersburg was on uh, a large county uh, known as then as Wilkes County back in the 1700s and the early 1800s before uh, Wilkes uh, County was divided and uh, Elbert County was um, established. And now... Uh, Back in the day, Petersburg was part of Wilkes County, and now it's part of um, Elbert County here in the state of Georgia. And uh, what was so remarkable about them is, is that you had two other little towns uh, right next to Petersburg, which one was Vienna and another one was named Lisbon. And uh, Vienna was on the South Carolina side of Savannah, and Lisbon was on the uh, Georgia side, not too far from Petersburg. And... Uh, both of them now are uh, ghost towns. There, uh, there's nothing there to them. I think you can find more Petersburg than you can of anything else. Because you see, Petersburg, if you ever want to be uh, come to Georgia, and if you're ever in the state of Georgia and you do ghost towns like I do, uh, there are still uh, foundations left in um, the state of Georgia. But they're now located under a lake called Strong Thurman Lake. That's right, folks, Strong Thurman. I grew up uh, knowing this lake, and uh, anybody here that's ever fished in the the lakes around Georgia and South Carolina, Florida and Alabama, or down here in Southeast, always would have known back in the 70s and 80s as um, Strong Thurman being Clark's Hill. And I grew up being known it as Clark's Hill or the Backwater or a couple other names. And... Uh, we call it Clark's Hill here in the state of Georgia. They call it Strong Thurman over there in the state of South Carolina. But um, on the maps, it's known as uh, Lake uh, Strong Thurman, uh, named after a uh, senator from um, Strong Thurman from the state of South Carolina. And uh, But one thing noticed about Petersburg is now it's uh, under the lake. And... Uh, during times of dry spells and the lake is real low, there are certain parts that uh, on the banks of the river, you can actually walk out to the foundations. Uh, I have seen foundations of them, but I was not able to walk out it because the water was so low in the lake. But you can see foundations and the road leading into uh, Petersburg. Um, the uh, If you're ever down here in Georgia, and want to go to the um, place where um, Petersburg was, you can find it uh, at a state park here in Georgia known as Bobby Brown's uh, State Park, which is named after a, uh, a Vietnam War veteran, I believe. And um, Petersburg is, uh, like I said, now, now a defunct um, ghost town. And if you ever get a chance, uh, let me, and you like historical facts and such, Georgia is rich with uh, many, many old communities that are no longer here and are dead. Well, folks, if you like this video, how about hit the like button and subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper. Until the next time, we hope one day to get out there and maybe uh, do a own visual side of Petersburg. And hopefully, if uh, during the summer, if we can, we might try to get out there this next coming summer. Well, until the next time, this is Bubba, the Jewish Redneck Prepper, saying God bless. Enjoy the journey, and shalom.